morning folks this is Wyatt with Tried Dirt Works bringing another video of the day today we're going to be doing something that is not new to dad but completely new to me and that is bush hogging I've been around all this equipment actually going on a year now full time last week I've been with Tried Dirt Works for one year so that's awesome but today just about on the one year anniversary we're going to do something that I haven't done before and we're going to go bush hogging and we're going to take both pieces of equipment we've got the Bobcat S630 is what I'll be running. It's a little bit more forgiving for a newcomer, I hope. At least that's what Dad says, but he's an experienced veteran, so anything to him uh, comes quite natural. But we'll go from there, and he's going to be on the T-Rex. So. All right, folks, we are walking on this project right here. The first one of today that we're going to go mow. I'm going to film Dad, kind of let him explain the thought process and kind of show you what we got going on here. Good morning, you guys. We're going to bush hog this little project right here. It's right here where we're walking. This is a, this is a, uh, like a, not a public access, but a city right away down here for a, a sewer easement, water easement down through here. But we've got a pond down here that belongs to this uh, homeowners association, this neighborhood, that we come in and mow once or twice a year. We have been for about the last, I don't know, four five six years not quite exactly how long we've been doing it but this little area right here that's fenced in we don't touch it and that's somebody's blackberry garden something that the poles there we knock a little bit of this down here this is that uh, city uh, easement right here it goes over and they've actually got a uh, greenway that goes through here it's pretty neat it, it goes up around the city lakes and all but this right here is over to the right. Up in here is what we're going to bush hog. It's not that big. We go over to the wood line right there. And then right out in front of us, there's a pond. You'll see that. It's not a whole lot. Should take us probably an hour to do what we're going to do right here. Maybe less than that with both machines. But the guys that mow this every week, they mow across the dam right here. They just keep the dam mowed up right there. But we come in once or twice a year and knock down the, the big stuff. And we get this right here. Now we, we don't do the, the bank right around the pond. They've got another environmental company that comes in and does that. I think they, they're out of Raleigh. There's different companies that does that. But what they'll do, they'll check the, the, the dam, make sure there's no beaver holes in it and stuff like that. It's a whole nother deal than, than what we do. We just go, we're just gonna mow this high grass down, just chop it down, keep it knocked down. And uh, it's really not public use. It's not a fish pond or anything. It's just, it's just a runoff device to, to, for the neighborhood. So that's kind of what we got in store. I think White's going to do a little filming. I think my, he might have told you earlier this might be his first job really bush hogging. So he's, we're just going to take it easy, take our time, and go from there. But uh, hang in here with us, and we're going to get cranked up and get started. And we've got another one just like this for the same subdivision but it's 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 probably about a mile away from here on an, on another end of this project it's a little bigger bigger deal and we might uh maybe get in there and jump up a deer or something maybe well, there's usually some deer over there on that one because it's it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere but hang in here with us we're gonna get some footage get started and uh try to beat this heat today she's gonna be here. all right folks give you a little cab view here i'm in the t-rex that switched up on me We'll be in the T-Rex, he's gonna be in the Bobcat on this pond, and then maybe we'll switch back. But a little nervous, a little nervous, but really nothing to be nervous about. I got my dad here, the hell that's all you need, you know. So everything's gonna be fine. And the only really advice that he gave me that really stood out is watch for bees, watch for yellow jackets, any kind of bee that comes up in the nest that we might stir up. He said, if you see one or two, that's fine. You see a bunch of them, put distance between you and them and, and work your way somewhere else. So that's really the only <laughs> major advice he said. Other than that, it was like, just, you know what to do. So anyways, we're gonna give it a go. I mean, I tell you, folks, like, I just turned off the camera. Dad went around this roundabout right here. We ain't even made it to it. And he told me today, if we didn't break down, it wouldn't take long. And he turned the machine on and we just blew out a hydraulic hose. So that is part of the trials and tribulations of running a company with equipment.
you're going to have breakdowns you're going to have stuff and this is exactly what happens you think you got everything figured out and the job going and then bam we got a hose so our bright idea with taking two machines and making quick work of this has now fall back on the t-rex and now i'm going to load this back up and go back to the shop and hopefully weston the uh, main mechanic can put his eyes on it and uh, get it figured out but it's just a hydraulic hose it's nothing too serious but today is july 5th and most everybody is off because yesterday was july 4th so getting a hose today might be a little tricky but we will figure it so out. i just got off the phone with uh weston and he is on his way with two hoses gonna have to rob them off of uh, another implement for the time being just to get us through until we can get uh brand new hoses on it so we're going to try the salvage of the day just want to let you know that so we got it all worked out i'm not going to bother uh with filming down there for right now kind of a change of plans uh let dad get through this one uh real quick hopefully get this hose repaired when weston gets here and then we can salvage this other pond or this other area that we got a bush hog and then why it can start bush hogging for his first time <laughs> so anyways guys it's all good it's this stuff happens and there's a couple ways to look at this stuff you can either let it ruin your day and and just completely completely just let it take over or you can just decide hey it's just a thing and logically think through it and and pursue on and just just continue on and not let it affect you so that's where we're at it's always it, it's, it's pretty out here i'm alive we're all alive it's just a hose it's just uh just a hose and just pulse. all right folks mechanic is leaving wave weston say goodbye Bye, say everybody. don't he said don't mess up anything else because he's not fixing anything else today nah he didn't say that but well, we got two new hoses on there went ahead and replaced the other one as well lost uh, quite a bit of hydraulic fluid and just got that top back off back to operating level that is almost done down there but i'm gonna go down there anyways because i'm chomping at the bits because this video was supposed to be my first day bush hogging not my first day bush hogging and replacing hydraulic hoses <laughs> no, i'm kidding guys all right we're gonna get down here get started so about the time that we got the other machine fixed I did come down here and I made one pass, but dad's done, which I knew he would be. So we're going to load up and head on to the next one, but this is what it looks like after the fact. It just didn't take long at all. Dad got in here and got on with the moving on. Got everything nice and laid down and bush togged out. So that's what we're after. So we'll see you on the next pond. Alright folks. This again, dad's in the bobcat, I'm in the T-Rex. We're on the second pond here, I haven't seen this one, so I'm just gonna do what I can do and use this small machine just to kind of work the edges and stuff. And, uh, take you guys along with me, that way y'all can figure out how to push hole as well. This is my first time, so hang tight. Maybe we'll see a little bit of wildlife too. I, I saw a deer right as we pulled up, just standing right here at this edge, uh, edge of the wood line. We're gonna get started here in just a few minutes.
bush hogging. It uh, went pretty good I think. Uh, didn't flip the machine. Uh, didn't hit anything too hard like rocks and stumps. That's a big thing to look out for when you're bush hogging. You can really tear up a set of blades and your machine up really quick if you ain't careful. This is one of those things you can't see really until you get in there but you just gotta take small passes at a time. Otherwise, it felt pretty good. Um, this felt really good. It felt pretty natural, not, not too hard. And I'm fucking trying to get me. I've been familiar with the, the bush hogs that go behind the tractors and they got the big flywheel and everything and it kind of keeps it up off the ground and stuff. That's been kind of an adjustment with this because there is no wheels. It's just a flat bottom that rests on the ground. So you gotta, you're constantly adjusting your tail forward, up and down to match the, to match the terrain. It's kind of a lot to think about when you're doing this stuff. That, that was one thing I noticed. But all in all, pretty successful and I'm definitely glad how it turned out. This was definitely worth it. I'm glad Dad brought me along. Because usually he does this stuff by himself. Anytime that he's got to go out and bush hog, We'll be on another job somewhere, we'll be at the shop, or like Weston, he's back at the shop fixing some stuff, trying to get us going. Liam there about got my head. But all in all, this is nice. Uh, I'm so glad that Dad's like, well, let's take both machines. I want you to get a little bush talking experience today. And definitely I got it. So just like anything else, to get good at it, to be quick at it. A lot of time, a lot of practice, but this stuff's not going anywhere. It'll be definitely more bush hogging. So I appreciate you guys hanging in the cab with me, following me along. It's been a good job, it's been a good day today. Make it out the truck, get loaded up. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the comment button down below. Tell us what you think. Hit that like button, it really does help us out. Subscribe to Try Dirt Works channel, that helps us out a lot. And if you don't mind, hit that bell icon for you if you want to get notified when our next video comes up. So guys, this is Wyatt with Try Dirt Works, and we appreciate you.